Now, it is a matter of fact that robots are replacing many jobs. Factory workers are being replaced by robots. Walmart cashiers are being replaced by self-checkouts. Even dogs are now being replaced by robots. And C4 Flash, likewise, is not an exception. Basically, javelin, which only the NSO robots can spawn, is just so much better for a suicide attack because you can move through and climb any terrain and move sideways to dodge bullets. So today I will walk through C4's javelin suicide attack so that you too can make a transition from unprofitable human-operated C4 flash to the state-of-the-art lucrative C4 javelin operated by robots. Starting with the loadout, it is important to max out vehicle stealth in order to sneak behind enemy vehicles. I also recommend to use the speed performance slot so that you can close in on the target quicker. Now Javelin has access to all these weapons that still to this day no one really knows what they do. So don't think hard about this and just pick this one, Nest, It takes the least amount of aiming to do. Now once you spawn Javelin, it is time to attach C force. What the? So to attach C4 onto your javelin, crouch and gently place C force. Now it is very important that you do this with a caution to not cause a glitch. It's like applying a thermal paste to CPU. You just gotta do it gently and not put too much. Otherwise you'd make a huge mess. <laughs> you don't want you don't wanna put too much. Now you gotta find an enemy, preferably lightnings. To do this, just follow this sign that says Lightning prone area, do not climb. Utilize the hover mobility of the javelin to position yourself behind an enemy. Now you gotta access a computer inside NSO brain unit and calculate the exact timing at which you will jump out and detonate C4. So distance equals 150 meter. Initial velocity, 65 meter per second. So that the time you should jump out is 2.3 seconds after commencing the calculation. Why did that not work? My calculation was correct, so why did that not work? And I had to ponder on this question a few days. But then came to realization that I forgot a very important detail. Air resistance. Yeah, that gotta be it. <laughs> now for anyone who is not familiar with the topic, let's first understand what air resistance is. So we have to look at the frontal projection. This is javelin, this is NSO, and these are robotic nipples. What happens is that as you are driving forward, all the air that you're driving into causes the chafing between shorts and robotic nipples to occur. And this causes the driver to subconsciously hit the brake, causing the air resistance. Understanding this, you can now try again with the updated equation. So find an enemy and access the computer inside NSO brain units and commence the computation again. Now you can successfully destroy an enemy tank. Now this is when another question arises. Should you teabag? Now teabagging is not something new in this game. Like other day, I saw a Max stuck on a hill, and I tried to knife it to death, and I failed. And this Max teabagged me for making this ambitious decision. But other day, I did succeed to knife a Max to death. So I teabagged the Max who died to an infiltrator with a knife. But when it comes to C4 Javelin, you have already damaged tank player's ego. 
as they died to the stupid strategy that is C4 Jabra. So if you go farther and teabag, it's just too much damage. So we have to consider pros and cons. Pros. Years of playing League of Legends have turned you into this toxic person who cherish in humiliating others. Cons. It just mean. But then it all changed when I charged into a stack of enemy armor by myself alone. And now I'm stuck inside enemy armor form. I'm going to die so I may as well just tee back before I get killed. Then. But then none of them actually noticed me. So I kept squatting. But they were so oblivious. Then one lightning finally noticed me and I thought to myself. I don't wanna die. So I run. But there are tank mines at the right place. And now you have committed into being a toxic player, here is the last guide I can give you that combines the art of teabagging and C4 Javelin suicide attack. Take GSC in utility slot, start charging at enemy vehicle that is stationary. Then activate GSD, climb on top of an enemy, teabag a couple times just to show how massive your balls are, and detonate C4. And that was how robots have replaced yet another industry.